question that is about which of the following is not associated with obesity just help me out let's just quickly discuss and complete the questions of the recall uh, was there a question in the options anyways among the options uh, okay instead of piece like we have polycystic ovarian syndrome yeah so hypothyroidism is uh, not associated with obesity very simple straightforward question uh, this is about the anterior wall mi and then you have a ventricular rupture wherein you have uh, post thrombolysis sudden hypertension muffling and distended neck pains which is a sign of cardiac tamponade and amongst the options what you guys have given the best answer would be to give fluid resuscitation pericardial tapping and ventilator support You don't need to do any intraortic balloon pumping directly. Or first of all, second is uh, inotropes not directly required. You give the ventilatory support initial step as so you need to go for the ventilatory management of such patients. Fluid resuscitation, immediate pericardial tapping. So here the best answer would be this. That is ventricular. Yeah, TBI pressure has been covered. Yeah. So the best answer here is ventilator support, fluid resuscitation, and pericardial tapping. Any issues in the question stem or the options here? Any issues in the question stem or options? Yeah, lymphocentigraphy has been covered already. Yeah, so here I think no query. So the best answer here is ventilator support, fluid fluid resuscitation, and pericardial tapping. Moving on to the next question, that is about a patient with retrosternal heartburn, uh, esophagitis grade D with hiatal hernia, high resolution manometry is suggestive of normal motility study, best appropriate management in such patients wherein you have severe reflux with hiatal hernia, you go for nascent fundoplication, you don't go for cetafix or links or crurorafi, you basically go for nascent fundoplication wherein also you narrow the hiatus if the patient is having any hiatus hernia so again a very straightforward clinical scenario oriented questions any issues in the question stem or options please mention in the chat so that i can immediately rectify here so that when i provide the complete recall pdf it is easier for us to get accurate questions and options for the upcoming batch uh, no issues whatsoever till now Yeah, and for this question, any issues in the options? Anyone can just help me out if somebody has uh, doubts in the recall options. I know it has been one week after exam, so it's very difficult to remember uh, after a week. Anybody? Are the options okay in this? No pericardial tapping given? Quickly, guys, anybody can just help me out. Just help me out with the option so that we can come to the correct answer. If uh, if then this option there was no pericardial tapping, then this cannot be the answer. If it was only mental support and fluid resuscitation, that cannot be okay. Say pericardiosynthesis was only given with the IBP option, okay. Okay, so this option was uh, just ventilation plus fluids. Okay, then this cannot be the answer. Pericardiosynthesis was given only with the IBP. So the pericardiosynthesis were only given with this because this also has some sub pericardial aspiration. So for the late Johnny's, the first question was about the obesity. The answer is hyperthyroidism. Second question is about the cardiac tamponade, where if the options had only one option with pericardiosynthesis, that should be the answer. So if the option A had resuscitation, anotropes, IBP, and pericardiosynthesis, uh, the, that question is pericardial effusion. That has been already covered. In this question particularly, IBP and pericardiosynthesis, if pericardiosynthesis was only given in one option, then that would be the answer. So let's move on to the next question that is about 
बट ग्रेट डी या द पेरिकार्डल क्वेश्चन हैज बीन कवर्ड इस वेजाइट इज एट हाइट हाइटर्स बेस्ट आंसर इज निसन फंडोप्लाइकेशन दिस क्वेश्चन अबाउट अल्कोहलिक मेल विथ हिस्ट्री थर्टी डेज बैक नाउ प्रेजेंट विथ फोकल न्यूरोलॉजिकल डेफिसिट द सी टी सम वॉट लाइक इज दिस गिवन विच इज हिस्ट्री ऑफ हाइपोडेंस लीजन दैट इज अ क्रोनिक एस डी एच नो नो क्वेरी और डिस्क्रिप्स इन दिस राइट yeah next question that is about a patient with some anal squamous cell carcinoma image given and uh, there was itching present and they asked you about the histopathological image identification with query anal scc given so if the options were such wherein this is slightly difficult question but see even perianal it's not about uh, you need to see the age and i think the image what you guys have shared because i'll be putting on youtube i did not mention uh, include it in this slide but yeah with the image what you guys have given me in the groups all that is suggestive of uh, squamous cell carcinoma so it cannot be a uh, uh, paget's disease it is no scc given what i know scc was not given the image was given but as per the what was the description given can anybody help me out was yeah was the was the image of the slides given or description given yeah so see if it was the image of the patient was squamous cell carcinoma irregular mass with granulation with pus perianal lesion given that is straightforward most commonly you need to go for the most common diagnosis but yeah if it was the image what you guys have mentioned that is characteristic of squamous cell carcinoma with keratinization present so according to that the best answer should be this if something like this was there in the options okay yeah so next we'll move on to the next question which is not an indication of bariatric surgery uh, are the options okay in this question yeah qualifier type was not there i understand but as per the images it seems to be uh, scc yeah so you do in bmi of above 40 you do in bmi of 35 with comorbidities you go when do with uh, uncontrolled diabetes with major depression or severe psychiatric illness you don't do bariatric procedures because this patient needs to be motivated in the post operative period for the uh, modification in terms of diet so this is the answer in this that is not an indication for bariatric surgery then you have this image i think the neuro images were pretty much straight forward that uh, this is a bilateral uh, both like two sdh uh, sorry edh given so i think no issues in this as well something like this was given yeah so this is an image of two edh which are marked by the arrows then we have the next question that is they asked about uh, arrowhead marking uh, contusion and one marking the edh i think the image was similar to this yeah with a right contusion and a left edh i think there was no question stem in this questions when with they had mentioned the ct images no question stem in this or this no question stem in this rta patient was mentioned is that it okay in both of that okay so the correct answer here is a right contusion with a left uh, e left edh so till now i have covered 148 questions and some of you have been great help for the recall so two questions are still missing i think all of you can just go through all the recall and just let me know if any question is missing i uh put up in the groups for you guys to just have a proper recall but uh, i hope no discrepancies or nothing in this so let's just come to the analysis what i have about this paper so first and foremost that i have compared the yeah i'll share the pdf don't worry there were two small edh on same side image also given in aso identifies so there were two edh images like this so there were two questions of ct okay so the yes okay 
yeah right okay so like 148 are done so i think roughly all of you must have got an idea post traumatic urethral injury if they asked about the size volume is also covered so you can just let me know after going through all the recall the two questions which are uh, most effective surgery for morbid obesity was that a question i think i have not covered that question i have covered that bariatric surgery for patient with gd gid i have covered okay so that was different thing okay yeah gid with obesity yes i have covered okay fine yeah rg question also i have covered so you can just go through that and let me know uh, midgut volvulus also covered lats procedure has been covered yes that has been covered buccal mucosal grafting has been covered urethral trauma i asking to identify the investigation what will you do i think i have covered that one was investigation as another first step was as was that so yeah what was that extra peritoneal bladder rupture CT volume clot size has been covered. Yeah, that question is not covered in which they have asked for management. Just help me out with the question stem in a patient with urethral injury. What was the, yeah, that has been covered. Extra peritoneal bladder rupture with Yeah, stricture was covered, yes. So extra peritoneal bladder rupture with blood at meatus and they asked for the management, right? They asked for the management. In the next step asked, what was the options? SPC. Next step, okay. SPC then. Police, immediate recon, blind catheterization, police, yeah. Okay, I don't think I've covered this, but yeah, initial management, I don't think I've covered it, but for urethral injury, you don't do a police, you don't do immediate repair, you go for uh, SPC. If the next step was asked, so that would be the answer here. So... And that's great guys so we have covered 149 so one question you guys you guys can just let me know if you guys can remember till that i'll just do the analysis so that it is many of you were asking me about the acute sdh was also asked was it so i think you have one two three i think i've covered three ct images of neuro were there four images? Yeah, one is one is one is about uh, EDH, one is about contusion with EDH, one is about chronic SDH. Right. Okay. Okay, SDS two questions, EDA two questions. Okay, that uh, so we have completed all. So basically, we have one image. I think nothing more to discuss because that would have been a very easy question. So that is last. That is acute SDH. CT images, temporal contusion. I have covered. EDH is covered. Acute SDH was not covered. Yeah. So I think that is all covered now. One fifty questions. The last was acute SDH. So I think that is. Straightforward question, so nothing much to discuss. So that's it with the complete recall. We have completed all 150. So yeah, so now coming to the analysis, what I've done, uh, and I've gone through the results of 2023 and 24, and whatever I'll be discussing about the predictive cutoff or predictive, uh, yeah, so... In this session, I'll just quickly go through the questions what I've discussed. That is one is about not associated with obesity, that is hypothyroidism. 
patient with uh, cardiac tamponade following uh, MI, the answer should be the one which has pericardiosynthesis. Uh, G, grade D, esophagitis with hiatus hernia, best would be distance fund duplication. Then you have an image of chronic SDH. One was with anal squamous cell carcinoma. The image should be having keratinization, pulse. Next is about not an indication for bariatric surgery. That would be failed medical surgery with fit medical management with major depression. Then you have image with two EDH given, one EDH and one contusion given. Then you have one question about the urethral uh, injury with rupture, bladder rupture with blood admeatus. Next step asked that should be SPC. And lastly, image of the acute SDH. So that covers today's last 10 questions.